Let's talk about writing off customer bad debts. In some cases, customers will not pay money they owe you, and the accounts receivable must be written off to bad debt expense. There are two methods to write off bad debts. There's the direct method and the allowance method. A detailed discussion of these two methods is far beyond the scope of this video training series. However, we need to briefly describe each one so that you can properly account for your bad debts depending on which method you use. You may need to talk with your accountant or CPA to get some additional, additional guidance in this area. Using the direct method, each invoice that is a bad debt is posted to bad debt expense as the bad debt is recognized. Under the allowance method, a percentage of your accounts receivable is written off periodically or at the end of each fiscal year. The amount that is written off depends on the percentage of bad debt you believe your company incurs throughout the year. Normally, you would make a general journal entry affecting an accounts receivable, account titled allowance for doubtful accounts, and another account titled bad debt expense. Then each invoice is written off to allowance for doubtful accounts as the bad debt is recognized. Now, not to worry, this is an easy process in Peachtree, no matter which method you use. Let's demonstrate this. Come here to Tasks and come down to Receipts. Now, let's pull up a customer that we found out that we're not going to collect the money that's due to us. So we need to write off their debts to us. They have two outstanding invoices, $26.50 and $168.96. Let's put in a reference number first, write off 101. The next thing we do is we're going to come over here and regardless of the amount you use or the method you use, direct or allowance, that depends on which account you're going to select here. If we use the allowance method, then we're going to choose an allowance for DAFL account, which is a contra asset account and will be set up here in your accounts receivable section. If we use the direct method, then we're going to use a bad debt expense. Let's find that account. Click on find bad debt. And here's our bad debt expense account, 61500, which is an income statement account. Let's use the direct method and charge these off to bad debt expense. Click OK and come down and pay both of these invoices. Now Peachtree is going to take $2,818.96 and charge it to bad debt expense. We can save this entry. and we've just written off the bad debts that are due from Holt.